Paying to get access to all the top AI assistants can get really expensive, but there's a solution to this. There's a service that's called Abacus that can get you access to all the top AI assistants in one single platform. Plus, you don't need to jump around from one to another, and it's less expensive. So let's go check it out right now. What's up, everyone? I want to show you Chat LLM teams from Abacus. They provide access to the top AI assistants for less than what you would pay individually for each one of these. So you get to pay $10 per month for access to all of these. And the first month is free, so do sign up right away. So let's go and jump over to Chat LLM Teams. So this is Chat LLM Teams, and we get access to all the AI assistants available. All I have to do is click right here and select the AI assistant that I want to use. So it's a beauty because I get to test all of these and I get to use them for less than what I would pay individually for each one of them. So basically it's a steal to use this. So let me get started with something here so you can get an idea of how it's going to work. So for example, let me write something. Okay, here we go. So I just wrote this, the best place to visit in Osaka, Japan in 2024. So let's go ahead and test it out. And we're using GPT 4.0 for this result, searching the web, analyzing results, and here we go. Well, that was really quick. So the beauty about this is that now we can switch the AI system to another one to test it out. So in this case, for example, there's several ones here. So I'm going to test out Clonet Sonnet 3.5. That's one of the recent AI assistants that just came out. So again, let's try out the same prompt right here and let's see what results we are going to get. So let's give it a few seconds for it to finish. It's again, analyzing the web and it just got started. Okay, so that was pretty quick. We got the results right here. I mean, you can pause this and compare it to the GPT 4.0 that I ran previously. So check that out here. And we got the results now. So it's a great way that we have the option to select these AI assistants and switch them out. For example, let's go ahead and test out Abacus AI Smog. So for example, I'll do this and check it out. And yes, we can also upload files. So we'll test that out with a PDF. There we go, getting the results. There we go, we just got the results using Abacus AI Smog. So we can see we even got some results with prices, which I think did pretty well. So to consider that, all right? So let's add a new chat and we're going to upload a file now. So we're going to test a PDF from Terms and Conditions of an insurance policy that I grabbed somewhere and we're gonna test it out. So we're gonna ask something about this. So what happens if I crash and it's not my fault, all right? So let's see. And it's gonna give me the results based on the PDF that I've just loaded from the terms. So here we go. Let's wait for the results. Okay, so here's the results for this question. Let's ask another one. What if the car is stolen? Okay, so let's see what results it provides. It even grabbed a phrase from the document. Remember, we're using the Abacus Smog. Nice, right? So now let's test it with a GPT 4.0. Again, we have the document here. Here we go. Let's hit enter. And it's going to do its magic reading the uh, document that we have here. So here we go. We've got the results from this document. Now let's try an image. Let's start a new chat. Let me grab an image. Here we go. I just grabbed an image from a thumbnail of mine from a YouTube video and let's ask it what, what this image is about. All right, and let's see. It's gonna analyze the image and we should be getting results here. Here we go. The image is an advertisement or promotional material for Dokken Cloud. And yes, that is. So let's go check it out. Yes, that's correct. So we got the results. And again, if it's an image with text, etc., we can extract it from there or get results from that image, which is really interesting because it's really useful, right? Now that's for the chat and switching around. But what if I want to create a bot with my own knowledge base? So, so take, for example, the document that we uploaded with the terms and conditions of an insurance that we bought, for example. But let's just say we want to expand that knowledge with more documents, more information. Well, we can add a new chat bot. Here we go. And this is going to take us to the back end of Abacus AI. We can create a project and we have two options. We can create a custom chatbot, which is a chatbot of your knowledge base, what I just recommended, or an AI agent that can do complex tasks for document generation and automation. In this case, we want to use custom chatbot. Let's go ahead and continue. Give it a name. So say insurance, continue. All right. Then we can upload documents. If that's optional, we can go ahead and do that later on if we like, but we can go ahead and attach it right now create a new one. Let's say again, insurance, continue. We can upload a file, read from external service or a streaming data set. In this case, we're going to select one of these. Here it is. Add data set and it's going to upload. It's going to analyze it and it's going to add it to this bot. All right. 
that we can use later on and expand it way more than what you can basically do in other type of services. All right. So that's for your own bot. Now, remember, you got access to all of these. Now, what if you want to connect? Well, you have different sources that you can connect to by clicking on one of these. Let's add a new connector and you get access to connect to any of these services that you have so you can cross a connection with them, right? Now, what if you have teams? Well, if you have teams, you also have the option to add them. For example, here we have an option, which is invite teams. If I click on it, it's going to take me to this section by clicking on invite users add the emails, send the invite and you're good to go. So it's a really useful feature to have team members help you out with bot creations, with the, using the chatbot, etc. So it's a really great option. So don't forget, if you want to check out Chat LLM Teams from Abacus, the link we provided in the description, and it's going to take you here. Go ahead and get started. And the, the first month is free. So go ahead and test that out. If you like it, go ahead and keep the service. And that's a wrap.